It's the magic of math here, and today we're discussing exponential growth. Here's our question. We're told that the number of bacteria initially present in a culture was 1,000. Each hour, the number of bacteria in the culture was eight times the number that was present at the start of the preceding hour, as shown here in the table. So we can see that the bacteria at zero hours one, was 1,000 in the culture. After time one hour, it increased eight times, 1,000 to 8,000. Another hour, another times eight, 64,000, and again, three hours later, 512,000. We're asked which equation could be used to determine n, the number of bacteria in the culture at hour t, meaning any hour, if we plug in the number we want, five hours, we replace t with that, and we're given four answer choices. When I look back at my table, I can see that I'm repeatedly multiplying by eight, but if I clear that and I consider going from time zero to the second hour, here, I can see it's time 64. 1,000 to 64,000 multiplied by 64, which looking at terms of 8 is 8 squared. 8 squared is 64, the squared representing the second hour. So I can see that it is indeed an exponential function, which tells me I can eliminate answer choice D because this equation does not have the variable T as an exponent like the other three. Now let's clear our answer choices and we're going to write this equation. We're going to start by understanding that an exponential function is written. We know that we want to know n, the number of bacteria in the culture. We're going to want to know the initial amount that we're starting at, and then we're going to multiply it by the rate with an exponent of time. So when we go back to, we're going to start with n equals, the number of bacteria equals our initial amount initially present in a culture was 1,000. At zero hours, 1,000. So initially there were 1,000 cultures, bacteria in the culture. Our rate was eight times. So our rate replaces our base of our exponent, our power is eight. And what we want to leave as a variable is time. We're gonna use t, because we wanna know for any hour, t, not a specific hour. So n is equal to our initial amount, 1,000, multiplied by eight to a power of the time in hours. Let's bring our answers back. Here's the exponential growth function we wrote, and we can see that that is answer choice C. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math.